Hello and uh, welcome back again. Okay, I said I was going to show you some um, some more stuff off the back of the uh, Odysseus landing site area. Um, it's all a bit hasty. And by the way, this is a tutorial base research channel. Um, yeah, right. Okay, so let's get straight into it. Um, this is one of the screenshots which I took. Um, I'll show you this site as well because I'm having great problems um, finding the names of um, the craters. And this is uh, um, Mor Mortus or Mortus crater and I'll just show you quickly here 10 kilometers so this the scale of this stuff is um, insane so I'm presuming the base of this crater is um, I don't know 80 kilometers 90 kilometers something like that uh, it's crazy. So, I'll show you some stuff on here. And then I'll show you some bits and bobs. So, I'm doing this basically so uh, anyone who's using a phone and stuff might probably get some clarity straight off the bat without me chundering on for hours so if you're unfamiliar with this um, sort of in enhancement um, there's lots of tutorials and the earlier videos where I show you, which are quite long, but I show you um, the enhancement uh, in action. So, hold on, still getting used to this. Okay, so the different tone you can see here, this was done in RGB, and when I start using the mid-tone dodge on this, it starts changing the colour. So a lot of the time I will um, change to grayscale, makes it less confusing. This is uh, working for you. Are we thinking what three videos in three days? There's a lot to show you. And I could have spent days and days on this.
Look, I'm trying to show you that. Um, this stuff is is everywhere. Um, You see this area in some of the early videos we went into like why these were looking like this and these are at li literally being blocked out so we can't see what's going on. interested there's the coordinates So this stuff is massive. It's all through here. All just needs pulling out. So this here, according to that scaling, is like 10 kilometers long, it's humongous. If you're new to this, th th it is something which you're going to have to get used to. There's the cursor from the screenshot. So in a moment we'll go and have a look at the uh, the map on GIMP um, photographs. I call them maps. Okay, and like I showed you on the last video, I mean, this stuff is apparent, not all of it, obviously, but very apparent without even doing any enhancements. Amazing, this area. These are the structures on top. Look at this thing. And it keeps doing that. So like we said before, it's not a point as a if <coughs> the 
this stuff is you know it's like who is that? who is occupying the moon oh my god you see all this Okay, right. So here we are. What else have we got here? This is another area which um don't think I've done a line up. And well saying that like I had a lot of problems finding names of craters and where things are and if you if you don't know the name of the crater, I mean it's it's really difficult to um to uh, find out where we are. Anyway, I found this, and they use the LRO as well. So this is the Malapur area. This is where are we? Malapur A, which is where it was supposed to be landed. And this, these are the areas I took the screenshots from on the, not from this though. Mortus or Moretus. So we can see there. Remember this area here? I should get more, a bit more clarity, and maybe not. It's like that there. It's like crazy. Oh, and I found this as well. I've been trying to find the um, Apollo 17, you know, when it's kind of across the lunar surface, but it, it stops here and then goes on to the <coughs> surface pictures and stuff. But I don't know if you can see some what they were from the uh, talk in here. Oh, I don't know. Let's have a look. Scott, we've got, uh, I don't know Miles, if you'll be able to got, hear this uh, or not. But if we you read this bit car, here, look. I see a possible structure. Cross. Possible Camelot, structure in Sherlock, the upper part of the South Mastiff. A little bit east of Station 2. Sub-horizontal dipping to the southeast. So you can take that as you will. In the upper part of the South Mass Deep, uh, a little bit east of uh, station. That's pretty interesting. Okay. So for those of you who are new, I'm just going to zoom in here and um, show you a little bit of the enhancement let's have a look in an area okay well let's have a look at that Is the cursor from the screenshot? So 
I'll just show you what it does when um, I use So you can see this information is in the image. It's not um, compression or pixel anomalies and stuff like that. It simply just doesn't run across the whole picture. And like I've said before, I mean, if that was the case, then it's um, it's basically wouldn't be the moon that we're looking at. They'd be showing us some something completely uh, false but they have to use the real photographs there's too many eyes on it okay so we've laid some highlights down And you can sort of see that squeezing the image now, because it's only working on the mid-tones. The more you look at this, the more you'll be able to understand what you're looking at. And they're not, um, let's, do, um, let's do that again. So to me, you can clearly see these are not rocks. So what I'd do again because the more blurred an area is the more you have to work on it to sort of visually compress it and you can see the colour gets richer and richer and this is the point at this stage where I would um maybe turn the image to uh
grayscale. I'll just demonstrate that. Structures. It's like I say, you can go on and on and on with this stuff. There you have it. sign okay guys right <laughs> sorry that was a little bit rough and ready it's probably the third or fourth time I've done this so I was having problems with that this thing because um, I had other images in there and it kept popping around and stuff but hey ho there we go I've got more coming um, please share this with anyone and everyone um and uh i'll see you next time cheers <laughs>